Really glad you're streaming with us today. Well, it's a spiritual shift that not every Catholic is happy about, but for many same-sex couples, they are thankful for the blessing. Yes, today Pope Francis said the Catholic Church will now allow blessings, pastoral blessings of same-sex couples. The church also clarified that the blessing, quote, must avoid any elements that resembly, remotely resemble a marriage rite. It's the first major update to Catholic doctrine in decades and will have a huge impact across the globe for a church still divided over LGBTQ plus people. Let's bring in our contributor and consultant to the Vatican, Father James Martin. Father, great to see you. Um, this is quite a huge step for the Catholic Church. Why do you think that the Pope um, is making this decision right now? Well, that's a good question. I mean, he's listening to people, first of all. Also, there's a new uh, person, Cardinal Fernandez, in charge of the Vatican's, uh, basically their theology office, and he signaled a much more openness to this question. But really, I think it's been a long time coming, and the Pope is really trying to be pastoral and listening to the needs of people on the ground, including same-sex couples. You know, Father, you've been, you've been really a leader in trying to uh, awaken the church to a new way of looking at uh, same-sex relationships within the context of the Gospels. And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that journey and how you feel today, given that what Pope Francis has approved of is essentially, a, if I can say it, a standard blessing from a priest, as a, as a priest would bless anyone who needs a blessing, all of us do from time to time, <laughs> rather than anything incorporated into a marriage rite. What do you think about that and, and the journey here? Yeah, well, my own journey uh, really started in earnest with the Pulse nightclub massacre, where 49 uh, LGBTQ people were killed, and I asked the church to along with other people to respond more uh, clearly to this group, this community in our church. And uh, along with many other people, I've been uh, encouraging the Vatican to be more open to LGBTQ people. Um, but your question, uh, it, I think it's, um, you know, it makes sense that they wouldn't want to confuse people to make it seem like the church was uh, approving same-sex marriages. We're not doing marriage rights. But it really is something that a lot of same-sex couples have been asking for, just some sort of pastoral accompaniment from, from priests and deacons and bishops. And it's a huge step forward, and it really is the first time that this door has been opened in any way uh, to same-sex couples. So it's a really historic day. You also wrote an open letter to the Pope talking about the church needing to be more aware of the real life effects of stigmatizing language about LGBTQ plus people. Is this move enough to do that? And also tell me about how the Pope responded to your letter. <laughs> well, I've met with him a couple of times and we've had very uh, warm conversations. He's very encouraging and inspiring and you know always supportive. Um, and I think there will be some people who say that uh, this doesn't go far enough, but there are also people who are going to say that this goes too far. Uh, in some parts of the Catholic Church, the, even, even the word LGBT uh, is, is kind of anathema. So I think we have to remember what the Pope is trying to do is balance the needs of some locales with, with the, the fears of other locales. But once again, it's, it's, a, it's an early Christmas gift for LGBTQ Catholics. <laughs> Amen. Thanks very much for that. Father Jim, great to see you. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.